All right, hey, I'm VTech guy. We're back, and we had a little weird discussion for today. Uh, so I got to watch NXT, and Patrick Clark, for those that know, was one of the tough enough participants. He was, uh, without a doubt, the guy that everyone thought was gonna win. Yeah, without a doubt, the most charismatic one on the show who actually had potential because he had experience also as a professional wrestler. He wasn't just like BS and everything. <laughs> Um, and he he's lasted this long, and it's clear that he has talent. Well, the wonderful minds behind. Well, okay, let's back it up real quick. So, if you guys didn't know this, Patrick Clark's gimmick, um, before this revamped gimmick, was to be like an American hero style, like I'm an American thing. He got into a beef with Brian Cage on the internet. I don't know if that led to him changing his gimmick. But there is that. Basically, Patrick Clark's gimmick is what we see now from Darren Young. It's the whole make everything great again, right? You guys catching me? Yes. Yep. No? Okay, cool. So, he came out, and Malin, I believe, or Mullins, one of you, said he looked like, Pr or Mullins, I think it was you? Someone said he looked like Prince. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he said Prince, and then I said what his gimmick was. So, Patrick Clark debuted officially on NXT television as a, a basically a gay Hunter Hearst Helmsley <laughs> dressing like Prince. Yeah. Let's talk about that. All right. Prince meet Jimi Hendrix with that headband and that afro. You know, when you see Rich Swan coming out, I made the comment of like, Oh, he reminds me of, like, an African-American Joey Ryan because he was doing some Joey Ryan stuff, and it's, like, very uncomfortable. And then you have Patrick Clark come out, and it's like, you know what? What Ritz won and what Joey Ryan did was okay because Patrick Clark... And it's the other thing of, like, WWE tries to portray that LGBT question mark, exclamation point, whatever they're called, um, to, to get on their good side, right? Because WWE tends to get on people's good sides. They did it when the whole Trump and Hispanic Mexican thing was going on, right? And it happened to be Alberto Del Rio with old man Zeb Coulter, the Mex-Americans. Oh, pretty bad, right? Well, now they won up that and they <laughs> made Patrick Clark a stereotypical gay guy. Hey, and, hey they prefer the term homosexual yeah so i think it's very bad because this guy actually has talent bring right? Orlando jordan back it bring Orlando jordan back yeah like this that's what it reminded me of that's why i thought it was gay guy it's sad because it reminded me of Orlando jordan's potential. tna thing he actually has athletic skill and he's charismatic and to see them use his charismatic nature and his athletic skill in a way that really deprives all of his legitimacy to professional wrestling really sucks, all right? And for those that don't know... He was the only one with good in-ring talent out of Tough Enough. I'm not even afraid exactly, to say it. Exactly. Patrick, uh, not Patrick, Tanner um, was pretty decent also, but Patrick Clark definitely... Yeah, the Josh who won was terrible. Um, Tanner just didn't have as much personality as Patrick, and Patrick kind of had it all. And for him, ZZ to be was in, overweight. Really sad, and we and don't know like, how ZZ lasted longer. Like, and he, we saw he got released. So ZZ lasted longer because everyone loved him. They're like, ah, oh, we love to watch the fat guy run. As sad as to say, Patrick Clark <laughs> we will probably. To watch the fat guy run. <laughs> as sad as it is to say, we're probably gonna see Patrick Clark and his. Stereotypical gay gimmick. His Prince gimmick. His no, he, 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 the Prince. gay Hunter Hearst Helmsley. I really hope longer. he doesn't bring this gimmick to the main roster. It won't even get to the main roster because I think by then. It, it may get like, killed by tonight because I've already seen hearing a lot of bad, bad reviews on this. Yeah. And I think from a company standpoint, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean. They try to okay. Remember that rumor when Sin Cara was going to be a gay hairdresser. Remember when they said Becky Lynch was going to be a lesbian. All no, bad I ideas. No, I don't remember any of these. Well, good because they were all bad ideas, and they should never. They be were talked all about. terrible they ideas. They should never be talked about. This is one of those ideas a where gay hairdresser no, for Sin Cara. This is where <laughs> no one. 
not Sin Cara, Kalisto, even bad, even worse. That's even worse. Exactly. That's even, even worse. But um, it's so bad that like it's one of those things where we should have heard about it already. Like, oh, look what they're planning, and it's like, no, it happened. We can't believe it happened. Please never happen ever again. Like that's the extent of this. <sighs> Does anyone else remember Rico? What would Rico yeah. be thinking right now? Well, Rico is like in a vegetative state right now, He'd so. Be ticked off. If you guys could three. give Patrick Clark a gimmick that was not this crappy, this. what would you give? It him? was not uh, this. Like, not the um, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Like, okay, are you asking me? Just anybody in general, you and Malin. Like, I think honestly, like with his char- with his charisma, mm-hmm. I think he'd be great at like a, almost like a parody gimmick like he parodies let wrestling legends similar to like what charlie Haas did mm-hmm. way back when and i think he could do it better than curtis axel in my opinion yeah i think he could yeah. do it better than that them because i feel like he's more charismatic than all those people mm-hmm. who tried it what about so. like a face chosen one type thing yeah t- true true i just think it's very very uh unique to see if you look at Leo Rush, who was a tag team partner of Patrick Clark in the Indies, and then Leo Rush saw major success in AAA, and now Ring of Honor and all that, and of course CZW is wired champion and all that, and seeing what he's doing, it's phenomenal. Um, it's kind of sad to say, like Patrick Clark, he he's just as talented as Leo, but Leo's getting that better character he got the better offer but leo went to the smaller company and is now thriving exactly patrick got a really good offer but leo got the better character development and i think that's sad because they're really playing around with patrick clark's character and they're using his real name which is even worse like some you know wwe can give you a fake name and they can just continuously give you fake names but if they give you something as your real name that's bad because then you got to make it work and now it's kind of up to him to make this work, and I can't believe I'm talking about this for seven minutes, but please scrap this gimmick or make it work, but please scrap this Remember gimmick. Remember the children. Remember the children. Then, now, forever. <laughs> and to have, <laughs> Prince, to have Prince and Dusty Rhodes, like, it's all too soon, all right? To, just, to have a Prince-esque gimmick on a Dusty Rhodes memorial, like, it's all too soon but there's that please please scrap this and please give patrick clark much more of a suited respective gimmick 